na midadi ya ajali nchini imeongezeka kwa asilimia saba mwaka huu ikilinganishwa na mwaka jana haya ni kwa mujibu wa taarifa kutoka kwa mamlaka ya uchukuzi nchini NTSA Watembeaji wa miguu na wanaoendesha pikipiki ndio wanaoongoza katika visa vya ajali pamoja na uendeshaji wa magari kiholela. Sadly the leading is always pedestrians and that is simply because of the fact that when there is conflict between a vehicle and an NMT the vehicle is effectively has a shell around the person the people inside the vehicles protecting them so pedestrians re remain leading in fact the two categories that are on the rise are pedestrians and motorcyclists kati ya mwezi januari na mwezi septemba mwaka huu utafiti unaonyesha kuwa zaidi ya wakenya 2214 wamepoteza maisha yao as of yesterday the 25th of september we had lost a total of 2214 lives that's 22 14 uh, is the total number of fatalities registered this year. Compared last year is an increase of 7.4%. It is a a tragic increase. Kulingana na mmoja wa maafisa wa NTSA Njeri wa Ithaka vifo vingi vimeshuhudiwa nyakati za usiku zikihusisha magari ya uma kwenye barabara kuu ya Nairobi na Kuru. Majority of these crashes are occurring at night. We have seen in the last three months um, multiple fatalities arising from one crash. Waidhaka aliyezungumza haya kwenye mkutano wa washikadau kwenye sekta ya uchukuzi katika hoteli ya Eserian mjini Naivasha. The most dangerous road at the last analysis remains the Nairobi Nakuru Highway for the last three months that has had the, the most fatalities. Tayari NTSA imesitisha shughuli za angalau mahiriki 12 ya matatu kwa tuhuma za kukiuka sheria za trafiki. There is a total of 12 circles that have been banned and have been suspended and five have been deregistered will give you the names of those circles so we continue to be very strict in our um, enforcement of the regulations um, that we are there to regulate Nikiripotia Jamvi la MBCI jina langu ni Mary M Muturi